Um, this piece is called Dandelion by Byron Stewart. Um, this one reminds me of an angel. I want to put this piece with the brother over here in the corner here, going to torn. So um, I'm going to do a piece <coughs> called Heaven is Me. Heaven is me, swinging from Duke to Basie from star to star. I tried to do it, that duet. But I got tired of covering up scars, so I soloed outside of his ragtime composition, a cage made of bars. Hell kept Callaway, the driver of my getaway car. Those big band born hip cats allowed me to leave that riff rap on a high note that spoke, I ain't your pitch. We finished. I sailed away and my musicianship undiminished. My solo debut imbued my bass with hues unabused. My tune wasn't all blues. I was brand new when feeling Nina Simone good too. Okay. <laughs> now I'm a smooth walking baseline, plucking with no regrets, living my life upright with no frets. Stepwise, I am giant steps from a time when I was too shy to shine. I found perfection in Ella's voice, intimately imitating any instrument of her choice while scatting how high the moon. I don't know about you, but I plan to continue to find myself inside of great performers. My latest news? that brother blowing his horn over there on the corner. You see him, don't you? Mm -hmm. He moves music. Tones played in punts with body dives and jumps. Sound seems to live and die on his fluid flesh. He is the surface of the sun, hot and glowing. This jitterbug musician is a magician tugging sound out of fat air. Music hung out to dry. He's plucking notes from the closing line and then throwing them out the crowd as if to say, here, try that on, and it fits perfectly. As he arches his back, he broadens his stands of birthing notes. His labor pains are painted plain in contorted facial arrangements. It is purely possible that he could play without an instrument. Nah, he is the instrument play from the inside out. <laughs>